This year's Olympics didn't really have anybody funny like the Winter Olympics, man. The, the Winter Olympics had like the, the Jamaican bobsledders, you know. It was, it was just make, made the Olympics, you know. Say it to yourself, Jamaican bobsledders. <laughs> Doesn't even sound right, does it? Because I had the TV on, I wasn't even paying attention. I heard, and now the run of the Jamaican bobsledders. And I just said, whoa, I got to see this, you know. <laughs> what is this about, you know? All those memories of the postcards of Jamaica that you've been getting, you say, man, is there some Jamaica I don't know about? You know? <laughs> some other side? You know, how did these cats come to that decision on the beach that day? <laughs> you know, it just had to be spur of the moment. You know, no thought could have gone into this at all. It was just like, say, Dudley. <laughs> thinking, man, thinking. Let's go bobsledding at the Olympics, man. You know, man, we can sell T-shirts, man. We can sell some T-shirts. <laughs> How you like that, man? Hey, yeah, pretty good. How long we got to get ready? Four months, man. Oh, more than enough time, man. More than enough time. Four months, man. More than enough time, man. I thought you were going to say next week, man. We be ready, man. Got to cut the hair, though, for the helmets. That's the only... Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Got there, man. I, you know, I tell you, they came on, I tell you, I don't know shit about bobsledding, but when in a minute I said, hey, these cats are in trouble. These cats... <laughs> you know, and I could tell when they came through that big curve, man, when they did the comparisons of the different heads of the crews, man. You know, and the Swiss crew came down and now I just said, hey, let's check out the heads. You know, this has seven G's worth of, you know, force through this curve and the Swiss heads, man, all four of them, you know, just locked in low and tight and moving like one and the wind couldn't get at them. You know, and then they, you know, the East German team came down, let's check out the heads, you know, and the East Germans took that curve, all four heads, man, just perfect, you know. <laughs> And the Jamaicans came down. I knew, first off, Jamaicans had trouble getting in the sled because the cat halfway ran down. <laughs> the last cat kept trying to get in. <laughs> you know, the cat just said, hey, man, let go, man. we get you on the next go-round, man. Let go. <laughs> no, Dudley, I have to go in with you, man. And he jumped on in, boy. Little did he know, he, you know, but they hit that. When they came down, the cat said, let's check out the heads, man. All four heads were just all of them. <laughs> you know, all of them. Not even two of the heads in unison, you know? <laughs> what was going on in that? said, hey, Dudley, don't look this way, man. Don't look this way. <laughs> Keep your eye on the road, man. <laughs> Turn the box down, Dudley. Right? You know, of course, they flipped over. You know, mountain had no choice. If it was going to stay in the range, man, other mountains would have just laughed at it. You let the Jamaicans come down, man? Did you check out the heads? You know, the announcer said the Jamaicans broke every rule in bobsledding, right? <laughs> Because when they turned over, he said, oh, my God, the rule is you can, you can survive one of these if you just keep your head in the sled. Meanwhile, Dudley's head shot out immediately and came down 70 miles an hour, neck out against the ice, you know. Finally, the sled stopped, you know, got tired, I think. You know, they, they turned over the sled, cats jumped up, happy, happy-go-lucky, waving. You know, you know, the officials went, don't even drug test them. Hey, thank you all. Thank you. All right. Thank you.